Welcome back. Uh, we're getting some breaking inputs from the Supreme Court. Uh, this is the latest as far as the hijab hearing is uh, concerned. Uh, there's a setback for petitioner students. Uh, the Supreme Court has refused to admit an NGO's report. I'm joined by Harish on the broadcast. Uh, Harish, uh, which report is this that has been that hasn't been admitted and the significance of PUCL's report? Yes, so that's right. Uh, in fact, uh, to drive home the uh, point that uh, ban on hijab was not only a violation of right to freedom and right against religious discrimination, but also right to education, lawyers for students, uh, in fact, wanted to read out from a report submitted by an NGO, PUCL, that is the People's Union for Civil Liberties, a human rights organization, which, in fact, claimed thousands of Muslim students did not and could not appear for exams because of the hijab ban. But the Supreme Court bench led by Justice Hemant Gupta refused to entertain the report or listen to the content of the report. Uh, the lawyer said that uh, thousands of students who were confined to madrasas had come out of stereotypes and joined secular education. Today, if you take away what they consider as an essential practice, an essential religious practice, what will be the effect? This will be the effect, and they will be forced to go back to madrasas. So in a way, uh, the lawyers were uh, trying to say that uh, hijab, hijab ban has resulted in a lot of loss to the students. Uh, one, students who had come out of madrasas to join colleges will now go back to the madrasas. So uh, Supreme Court said, we don't want to say anything about reports. We don't accept such a report. And uh, this is how the courtroom exchange went. Huzefa Hamadi, the lawyer, lawyer for the students, said, there has been huge number of dropouts and thousands of Muslim students did not appear in the exams due to hijab ban. So at this point, Justice Dulia said, judgment is from March 2022. Do you think there can be an authentic study? Then Amidi, it was then that Josefa Amidi pointed to the PC, PUCL report and said, the report said that as a direct consequence of restriction of hijab by colleges, government notification and judgment of Karnataka High Court, thousands of Muslim girls across the state were robbed of their access to education and a sizable number of and and a sizable number were unable to appear for their examinations. So at this moment, Justice Hemant Gupta said, we don't want to say anything about the reports and we will not accept the report. And the bench also said that the issue of dropout rate was never raised before the High Court. You are arguing this for the first time. And at, at this juncture, Amadi said that the effect of the judgment could not be argued before the judgment. This particular class of students who were confined to madrasas had come out of the stereotypes and joined secular education. So... All these were an attempt by the lawyers for various student, girl students who had moved Supreme Court to drive home their point that ban on hijab was not only a violation of right to freedom and right against religious discrimination, but also right to education. Back to you. All right. Uh, thank you, Harish, for getting us those updates.